Each topic we've touched on is a universe of its own. Over the next few days, we'll revisit some of these to dive deeper. Today, let's explore color theory, a concept we briefly introduced on day 19. Color theory in film is like the secret sauce that spices up visual storytelling. Imagine red as the heartbeat of passion and danger, blue as the calm of a tranquil sea or the chill of isolation, and yellow as bursts of sunshine and caution. These colors don't just paint the scene, they stir emotions, guide our reactions, and deepen the narrative. Filmmakers craft their color palettes with care. Monochromatic palettes use various shades of a single color for unity. Analogous colors sit next to each other on the color wheel, creating harmony. Complementary colors on opposite sides clash and vibrate with energy, while triadic palettes balance three colors evenly spaced around the wheel for a dynamic look. In post-production, color grading tweaks these hues to perfection, enhancing moods and highlighting themes. Colors become symbols, like the haunting red coat in Schindler's List, or the stark green of the Matrix. They define characters, set atmospheres, and whisper subtle cues to the audience. Think of Wes Anderson's whimsical pastels in the Grand Budapest Hotel, or the harsh oranges and blues of Mad Max Fury Road. Each palette tells its own story. Film noir's high contrast shadows reflect moral ambiguity, while Western's earthy tones ground us in rugged landscapes. Color theory isn't just about making films look good, it's about making them feel profound. So next time you watch a movie, pay attention to the colors. They're speaking to you, weaving a rich tapestry of meaning, one frame at a time.